Thanks, Greta. And this morning's snowstorm created a lot of headaches for motorists trying to get through the Mahoning and Shenango Valleys. First News reporter uh, Jerry Ricciuti <laughs> back from one of those affected areas. He joins me now uh, live in the studio with the latest on that situation. Jerry? Dan, if nothing else, Mother Nature's got a good sense of timing. Each of this week's snowfalls occurred during the morning rush, which is often not a good thing for motorists. While there were a number of crashes we were pursuing along Interstate 80 in the area this morning, this one in Mercer County around 730 shut down the eastbound lanes of the highway for a couple hours. We're told a tractor trailer and a car clipped one another, causing the big rig to jackknife about two miles east of the Ohio line in Shenango Township. Despite all this mess, nobody was hurt. Now, as you can imagine, shutting down such a highly traveled stretch of I-80 will cause significant ripple effects for motorists. State troopers and crews from ODOT sent eastbound traffic off the highway in Hubbard Township while that wreck was being cleaned up across the state line. While some drivers used that diversion as a chance to refuel and get something to eat. Most simply detoured up Route 62 into Pennsylvania where they could get back on the interstate in either West Middlesex or Mercer. Now, as of about 10 o'clock this morning, the highway had been reopened again to traffic. Coming up tonight, we'll hear from one of the motorists trying to get through this area to get home and having to deal with that unexpected detour. Dan?